Let's talk about the elephant in the room. The junior doctors, the OBGYN, the consultants, whatever it is they call it in your country. What do they do? What are they doing? Most of the time you go for an appointment and they just check your notes. They even ask you questions. Everything is in your notes. They start asking questions. For every time, in the UK for instance, you don't see the same OPGYN, even though they assign a consultant to you or a doctor to you. That's not the doctor you see. You might not even see your doctor throughout your pregnancy. And when you get to the office, they just they're just so quick to look at your notes, check your blood pressure. That's it, really. Just a routine check. After waiting one hour, two hours, sitting there with the uncomfortable chair. But what I want to say is, you don't have to see them, especially if what they're saying is not what. You want to hear not because you don't want to hear the truth but because of their negativity because of their lack of contribution to the progress of your pregnancy go for your appointment in terms of your scan your blood doing your blood put all the tests that is required to put your mind at rest to know that your baby is in the right position to know your baby is in good health and you are in good health everything that you are asked to do the vitamins to take if they prescribe anything for you for your well-being iron tablets everything take them but you don't have to put yourself through the stress because pregnancy is stressful on its own but adding insult to injury sitting down <coughs> In someone's office, <coughs> and all they do. I'm sorry, my voice is choking up. Every time I try to talk, my voice just chokes up because these things are. It any time I just talk about it, it just brings back memories. <coughs> you know. And them putting their negativity on you and their own little thinking and their own little experience. Sometimes you meet junior doctors that have never had the opportunity to actually birth a baby. They've only done theory in their school. And they're just using it to take away their time. So for me, I will personally say, if you can do it, go to the hospital, but not to see a doctor and ask for their opinion because they have none in most cases. In most cases, they just want to force out whatever it is that their superior has told them. And if it's a superior, whatever experience they've had in their little, the little experience they've had is what they want to put on you. That is my own because for me, my first, second, third pregnancy, I so listened to the doctors. Even when I didn't need to have an induction, I listened. Oh, you should have an induction. Not for any reason. Your baby is not big. They don't want to accept that their machines are not working in terms of estimated. It's, it, and it's actually, they actually call it estimated due date. Then why are they forcing you to go? into labor. If you don't go into labor at 40 weeks, we will have to induce you. Why are you putting the induction in my head? I see people saying 37 weeks, 38 weeks, they're telling them about induction. And we innocently listen to them. They tell us high blood pressure. They don't give us solution for it. There's so many reasons why they are even pushing induction nowadays. And it's so scary and alarming. And at the end of the day, if it doesn't work, you're already in their hospital. So they can do whatever they like with you. 
they will scare you so much that you have to go for a c-section i hear it all the time oh i was in labor for 24 hours and because i didn't progress i was given a c-section because they said the heart rate of the baby was low or uh, my heart pressure my blood pressure was good getting high and they wouldn't give you solutions for that but the only thing they do is all of a sudden a c-section solves all the problem in most cases no, it's not in life threatening it's just they need the hospital bed they need the space so my own is that you don't have to see a consultant for me in my last pregnancy i was seeing midwives throughout and it was so positive it was engaging a consultant or a doctor does not engage you you ask them a question they're looking at their monitor most of the time and they acknowledge you once in a while do your blood pressure and just check one or two things after waiting two hours it's just 10 minutes to speak to a consultant or a doctor or a junior doctor but in your country especially in UK you don't have to they can put it on your notes or in your app but you can just go for your scan I went for my scan and after that I go home the last time I, they forced me and they said the consultant actually called me to please come in I waited two hours to see a consultant and I didn't see the consultant they had to beg me to come for another one and they said I will see the consultant that was when I saw the consultant so there's so many things going on in the hospitals that you have to give yourself peace of mind. You have to give yourself rest. Peace of mind is very important it's for your pregnancy to go on smoothly. Because I had a very good pregnancy until the end, when they didn't know what to do with me because they were not. They are not used to the fact that people know what they want. They want you to be at their mercy, and they do whatever they like with you. But I have been at their mercy three times, so I knew I didn't want to be at anyone's mercy. My, I learned my lesson. So if this is your first pregnancy and you're watching this and you're listening to this, just know that from the get-go, watch videos and see what women have gone through. So you know better. Not by saying it to them, because they will think that you're questioning their authority, but by doing things. You know when to go to the hospital, if you have to go to the hospital. And when you are at the hospital, let them know what you want. Let someone be at your corner, if possible. But if not, you can still do it while you are in labor. You just have to learn how to take care of your breathing and everything. But most especially, importantly, have someone that can talk on your behalf and know exactly what you want and support what you want. Because, and it might not be your partner. Your partner might not support you. doesn't mean they hate you. doesn't mean they don't love you. They're just not strong enough for it. So you need someone that is strong enough. If it's a dual life, you can afford it. Someone that can talk on your behalf. That's all you need. But seeing a consultant or a doctor is not compulsory. And if you are in a country whereby you have to pay for these services, then you are in luck. Just do your test. Let them let you know what your test is about. If there's anything to worry about, let them diagnose you. Go to your traditional herbal place. Get drugs that will correct these things. And just keep being on top of things. Your scan, everything. And you'll be fine. Because the doctor does not do anything. You just read your notes. And force things on you. And put things in your head that you don't even need to know at that particular time. That is my own opinion. You don't need to see a doctor. And go to the hospital, see a midwife. Do all your tests and everything that is required of you. And don't waste your time with the doctor. Don't let them force you to see a consultant whatsoever. Or you are high risk. Because you are, your BMI is so, 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 so. We can't allow you to give birth at home. Because... We don't have enough staff. Some people, some doctors go as far 
are telling you to come for CS at 37 weeks because they are going to be on holiday when you are due and they don't want any surprises and they want to bet your baby for you for their own convenience so it's so funny and so sad at the same time but that is what is happening and I watched videos and I decided to share my own video as well because I think the more we talk about it the better the more we share it the better you have to know yourself you have to understand from the get-go is like the way you think about education and teachers not knowing everything is the way you should think about doctors not knowing everything or not even trying to listen to what you've got to say they worry about their hospitals and their job more than they worry about their patients and the mental health of their patient. They just talk anyhow. You will die. Your baby is going to die. And they are lacking manners every day because they feel that medicine is getting above everything else. Nobody is going traditional anymore. And they are trying as much as possible to push traditional to the back. So you need to be careful what hospital you go to it doesn't matter what hospital you go to, you have to know within yourself that you can help yourself first before anybody else can help you. So asking your doctor, oh, can I drink this? Can I drink tea? Can I, what about tea can I drink? They don't know. They do not know. My mom gave me about medicine to drink. Can I drink it? Or oh, can I use castor oil to induce labor? They would say no, because they depend on what their predecessors have done. They, they call it research. But well, many things have been researched, have been tried and tested for years. The traditional way, the normal way, that before medicine came along. But because medicine does not work, acknowledge it, they want all the artificial stuff artificial oxytocin, pictocin, everything thing sin. artificial gels to induce labor. So they can use artificial gels to in induce labor, but natural castor oil is a problem. Many things have side effects. All the gels that they use at the hospital, the rods, the injections, everything, they have side effects as well. Some people react to it and they treat it. Same with whatever it is that you do as well. That is natural. That has been tested by many women. I'm not saying you should endanger your life in any way. If there's anything wrong with your tests or your stuff, listen and get guidance. But listen and get guidance with so much knowledge you need to bring so much knowledge first of all if not they're just going to sell anything to you that you regret later that's all i'm saying so if they're forcing you to see a doctor and you feel that you don't need it then you don't need to see a doctor you can go through the facilities and the resources they have at the hospital without sitting down and someone putting you down and putting negative thoughts in your head or now your baby is not going to survive or stuff like that that is all i'm saying 